up guys? So today I'm going to be doing the review on the Soaped X Revolution eyeshadow palette. Obviously I used this in my last video which was my Valentine's Day makeup look which is this and yeah I said I hadn't reviewed it and that there was going to be a review coming soon so I thought things I'm wearing the eyeshadow from the palette why not review it now so that's what I'm going to do. I don't have like the original outside packaging but I obviously have the actual package so that's obviously very nice. It, I like the packaging it is like this the palette outside of the palette because it's like this pale pink with like gold it's like rose gold and like it's reflective as you can sort of see and yeah there's 24 ultra professional eyeshadows and it's obviously like the original so x revolution palette because she's obviously got an extra spice one that she brought out more recently but yeah the ingredients is mica talc magnesium stearate paraffinum liquidum ethyl hexyl palmitate Polybutene, silica, dimethicone, kaolin, propylparaben, methylparaben, so it's got parabens in. Obviously I know nowadays you kind of want paraben free, but yeah. And this palette is extremely good, as you will have seen in my last video, and I should probably leave a card up there so that you can check it out it's like a tutorial with this but it's not the review tutorial sort of thing but yeah and it's just obviously got the soap x on there to be honest it's nice how it's just the soap and not like the soap does nails because obviously she doesn't really do nails anymore so it's quite nice how it's just soap this is what the palette looks like I quite like the um, colour arrangement. I do think some of them could be like a little mismatch, like this one right here. I think it could do better to not be in this area. Like it could do with being more of this side, but just that for personal preference. But all in all, they're very good palette. Not palettes, very good. It's a very good layout. I'm gonna like watch some of them I'm gonna do this like khaki green like it's a shimmer very pretty I'm gonna go with this like plum purple one swatch does not do it justice there we go then let's do a few mattes this like pinky shade mattes beautiful and I'm just gonna an extra one on top so it's like it's buildable and let's swatch the black because some palettes you struggle to get a good black like I'm sorry but that's not bad like darn that's good Obviously it comes with a trusty mirror, which is very handy for if you are on the go. I wish I had a makeup like Mimi. Wow. Oh well. And this is where I go. Just because I don't like having excess on my fingers when I'm doing stuff. So there we go. Like I've still got excess, but you know what I mean. It obviously comes with, there is shade names, but I've lost like the sheet, or at least it's somewhere in this room. But there's obviously like the whites, you've got like the pink shimmer, you've got like the gold shimmers, the purple, like there's this like somewhere between dark green and dark blue. Then you've got your browns, obviously your black, you've got your pinks, your and your orange, and then you've got like the red and yeah, it's just an incredible assortment of eyeshadows. 
and it's only £10. What I find, and I will say it's definitely worth the £10, and you could probably pass, like, they could probably mark, like, Revolution could market this, like, at £15, £18, and people are still wear it. It's incredible, and it's worth every penny plus more, like, it's insane. Obviously, as you can see, this is, um, a little bit dirty right now, but, ooh, well. Yeah. And each eyeshadow is 0.038 ounces, which is 1.1 grams, just in case you want to know. And the palette lasts for 12 months, so it'll last till December, or at least for me anyway. I don't know. But I do find with eyeshadow palettes, you can make them work a little longer just all depends like if it still feel the formulation still feels the same continue using it but yeah like and obviously with formulation going back to that the shimmers creamy blendable best best to apply with your finger i do find but i think you find that with all shimmer eyeshadows mattes obviously best applied with the brush and again they apply very beautifully i would say use a fluffy brush to blend that out but then again i could just because i prefer fluffy brushes now but i haven't really used like more tapered not tapered more like flat brushes but you could probably still make this work but i just don't really use my flat brushes now at least not for in the crease but yeah don't know why I keep doing it like this it's just like yeah what else did I mention I'm obviously you can create like a range of looks and yeah and also it easily like wipes off doesn't leave any staining it's not patchy it's not swatchy well not swatchy but it's not streaky should i say and yeah as you can see it applies very very beautifully don't judge my eyeliner application can't do eyeliner to save my life yet somehow this eye went right first time like what what but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video let's see if we can get this video to 10 likes i'm gonna say that with every video if if you haven't already hit that subscribe button hit it and turn on the bell so you get notified when my next video goes live i upload on wednesdays and saturdays I know to anyone who's already subscribed I can struggle with that but I typically try to stick to that I don't have like a specific time but generally my videos are now going up at like seven o'clock so I'm gonna say my videos are going live at seven just because I find that easier especially on a Wednesday if I've maybe got to do some last minute things to the video I can but yeah, I'm going to stop rambling on and I will see you guys in my next video.